Okay, it's a crisp October morning, probably around 30 degrees in eastern Washington State. And I'm loving where it is right now. Because I got solar coming in big time. This is going to be about a 75 kilowatt day. Even though we're in fall, uh, when the sun shines, we still get quite a bit of uh, solar energy. I'm going to be explaining today my grid tied system. This is a system that is tied to the grid, feeds power into the grid when I have more power than necessary, and takes power from the grid when I have less power. So let's get uh, deep into what uh, what I mean by grid tide. Okay, an explanation of the grid tide system. Grid tide system is going to be the simplest system you can put in, and it has a lot of advantages. First, what what does it do? When you put solar panels, and most people put them on their roof. We're going to say these solar panels are on the roof. You have a choice. You can either run DC power from the panels down to a central uh, inverter of some sort to make it into AC, or you can do it with microinverters. Microinverters are going to be the most common thing that everyone will use to change the DC from the uh, panels to alternating current 240 volts up at the panels. Now you've got this power in the system now. And if you're grid tied and you are producing power in excess of what you uh, need in the house at any given time, that power is free to go out into the grid. Now into the grid, what does that mean? It, uh, it means it goes past your meters and goes out to the power pole and it may feed your neighbors. You may actually be powering your neighbors. And you're reducing the load on the grid that the utility is maintaining. Maintain, the, the utility maintains a grid and supplies power. If you have a grid tied system, when you're producing more power, than you use, then other customers are using it and the grid does not have to supply it. Okay, for that, the utility tells you, because you're a power producer now, we will give you credit, and this, this varies with different uh, utilities, uh, they used to pay you for it, so I don't see many of them paying for it anymore. That, didn't work out too well. Uh, but they'll give you credit, and that's just as good. Because uh, let's say I produce 100 kilowatts, and I only use 50. Okay, that other 50 kilowatts can be uh, credited to my bill. So let's just take a day. Okay, during the day I make 100 kilowatts. But at night I'm not getting anything from solar, so the grid's supplying my power. The utility's actually supplying it then. Now during the day, I was, my power was, uh, was all produced by the solar panel. You know, and that took care of my use. But at night it's not going to do that. So they're saying, well, because you gave us power to power your neighbors and so on, and we didn't have to buy the power, then we're going to give you credit for that and we'll power your house during the night. And that's how it works. Now what it actually ends up being is because you don't use a lot of power at night, that credit is going to extend into months where there's very little solar. Let's say uh, snow comes down. Um, you're not producing any power when snow's on the on the panel. So it's just pretty much nothing. So they're going to supply you power. But back in the summer, 
I produced far more power than I needed and uh, they will record that power and give it back to me in the winter. So conceivably I could have only the minimum charge for my build, which is actually where I'm at right now, that will go through the entire winter. Like I have a $9 minimum charge. My utility is actually quite generous. So I have that $9 charge and I will have that charge all through summer and winter. Okay. That's a grid tied system. You usually have two meters. Uh, one of them's a net meter that tells you how much power you actually took from the grid and the other one's telling you uh, how much power you put into the grid. This is by far the simplest system out there. It has many advantages in it. Like right now, I have 56 panels that are producing power. I have about 650 or <laughs> uh, 6,500 kilowatts in my bank that they have banked for me to use in the winter, which I won't use all of that. I, there's no way I'll use it all. But uh, I will continue to have that zero bill, $9 bill, uh, for the rest of the year. So essentially, what the grid is doing is they're supplying me a battery. So when, like if I had a, a large battery and I was producing more power than I needed and I was not hooked to the grid and I charged up this battery, then that battery would run me when there's no sun. Well, it would take a really, really, really large battery to do that, to give me 6,500 kilowatts. Uh, most of your batteries are going to be on the order of 15 kilowatts or something. You know, it's not going to be anywhere near that much. So you're using that grid as a battery. And it's a really cheap battery because it doesn't cost you anything. At least in most places it doesn't. So the grid type system is by far the simplest and best system for a, uh, a home or a structure that is on the grid. If you're off grid, it's a, it's a whole different ballgame. You can't do that. But this is... Uh, this is a system I have. The system is, uh, works beautifully. It has one drawback. It will not power my house on a, if the power goes down. If the power fails, then it shuts down. Now you can set it up with a switch over uh, that isolates you from the grid when you uh, when the power from the grid goes down and you could have a battery backup for that but that's going to be very expensive and uh, if you want that you can make that hybrid system and it'll work out but it it's going to cost you a lot more money now I put my panels in in stages uh, because I'm a do-it-yourselfer and I put 14 panels in first on the south facing part of the house. I put uh, 28 panels on the south facing roof of my shop. And I just finished putting another 14 panels on my west facing roof. And west facing does work. I will get into that in another video. But that's essentially grid tied. It's not real complex to hook up. I mean you you need to have some electrician skills or just hire somebody to do it. But that's a grid tied system. And I'm going to talk more about my specific grid tied system in the future and give you an idea of how this system is actually working 
and give you some numbers on what it's producing. But anyway, that's what the grid tide system is. That's it on this one.